All right, little practical uh, bit of information, how to use a short sword like this one. You can call this a machete, so you don't need to think about it as a sword, but this is an incredible defense tool. It's kind of uh, mirroring uh, a real Roman gladius, and it feels exactly the same, just with modern material. Now, I'm gonna use for this uh, information this uh, wooden you know, replica. First of all, understanding the distance where the sword is effective. Okay? This is not a knife. Give you an advantage that you have more reach. And this is our ideal reach. The point is, now when I am here, I'm losing the power of the sword. Now, I can use all of these as striking tool, especially if you have the, you know, the skull crasher here, or like a hammer fist. But this is not the main purpose, so we want to avoid to stay in this distance. We want to keep our opponent away, and this is our line that we create. This is the most important thing to understand. From here, we got to look at the stance, okay? I want to be sure that first of all, my sword is forward, not too much, but kind of an angle, but in front of me. I don't want it on the side. I don't want it on the left. I want a center. This is also my defensive and also my attack. And being center, when I attack, the opponent doesn't really understand where it may come from. If it's here, they know that I need to come from here. Here is going to be kind of more difficult to telegraph. Second, I want to be sure that now my legs are facing my opponent, but my opposite arm, excuse me, leg, must be setting back. So I have more control in stability. I'm leaning forward, chin down. The support hand, since it has no shield, is going to be in this way, covering my neck, chin down. Even when we may not face uh, another knife attack or sword attack, this is still something we want to protect. The hand must be away. Now, the way I hold the sword can be two different ways, like kind of a hammer or with the thumb. I like with the thumb because this is technically mostly a stabbing weapon or slashing too, but it's not much of a hacking. Even you can do that, of course. From here, I need to start to think. The first strike is a simple one. Just a straight line. A stab. Stab. Vital points, neck. Vital points, groin. Vital points, even stomach. All the different organs. When I stab, I don't just stab with my arm. I step in with my body and retract it. I don't want to go in that dangerous territory and stay here. I want to strike and go out. Strike and go out, strike and go out, strike and go out. Every time you strike, you inflict a terrible wound. And now you got your little victory, come back and let them bleed. Breathe out. Now from here, we're going to look at the slash movements. We have four different angles. One, one, two. I slash and also hack, but on the way back, I slash. It's not gonna be just bang, it's gonna be. And bring it back. From one, two, three, four. It's the four basic angles. From here, very important, the concept is that once I slash, I retract back into my stance in front of me. I don't want to have this kind of an angle. It must be straight. There we are. These are the four basic angles with two the basic thrust. Now, this weapon, as I said, is not really for hacking, but when we slash, we also give them their power and retract with the slash. Now, think about this like also is an extension of your arm. If I'm here and he has something in front of his face, of course, in ancient times, maybe a shield, we can also use it like a hook and retract. So, this is the movement that goes around these defenses and that you retract. You don't advance, otherwise, now you're in arm reach. And now, the final thing, 
I want to look at this drill. It is a combination of our line of attack that we did and stab. So, same story. Stab, slash, 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 stab. Stab, stab, slash, stab, slash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? That's it. Oh,